Right, welcome to West Dallas, Wisconsin. We're going to be doing a raised bed project, actually a repair of one that uh, I built last year. This is uh, a great bed, but I'm going to make it taller so that I can get uh, better soil, obviously, deeper root penetration, and I can uh, uh, reach the bed earlier. I mean better without having uh, breaking my spine. So. What I'm going to be doing is taking this 2x8 out um, and adding it from this side of the bed on top of this one over here, making it in essence too high. I will then bring in all new ones here. I have to leave this side of the bed alone, which is where uh, all my garlic is that went down last fall. It's beautiful garlic. Kind of love that. Um, so. We'll leave that and then we'll mess around with that in late July when I pull the garlic. This over here is going to become brick, which you'll see that in a different video. This was uh, where uh, planters go, potted plants, and it was mostly herbs. So we're going to be replacing all of this as far as too high goes. I've also made this trellis by hand, just off of stuff that was lying around. Uh, which I'll show you how to do that as well in yet another video. Alright, so <clears throat> this is part of that bed project again. We can see that I have removed the front of all the uh, lumber that was in the bed. Now you'll also see that there's about a 20 inch wide path here in the front. Just made it out of all the soil. It's right here. Um, reason for that is it's going to get a brick border. Uh, it's going to be doubled on top of each other. Uh, I'll show that later on, but that's going to be for potted plants. I don't want to take my bed any wider than four feet because when I put my knees up to the edge here, I can reach just over to there uh, on a relatively good stretch, but I can still make it just fine. I go a whole lot wider than four feet, or even any wider, really, then uh, I get a lot of trouble. I won't be able to reach anything, and it just takes away the whole ease of everything for me. So that's where we're at. This soil is uh, still pretty cold. There's a lot of frozen spots. But uh, so in here, everything's been ripped out in preparation for uh, the new lumber, which we just got from over here. Um, this is just lengths of uh, two by eight. I got some uh, 12s, some eights, and then there's a four by four for some corners. You also see some uh, PVC piping, which I'm going to use for that and make a, what you call, it's, it's either called a poly tunnel or a greenhouse or a hoop house, a million different things. Basically, it's just a uh, cold frame. Uh, then I feel very comfortable with my earlier selection of spruce pine fir or just pine because of this. This right here is all the lumber that has just come out of the front of the bed that I'm replacing. This is three years old and uh, as you can see it really has very little weathering at all. This was the inside of the bed here where everything was uh, facing all the dirt and frost heaves and everything else. And it's as uh, solid as can possibly be. It's almost, quite frankly, almost brand new looking. And here would be the reverse side that was exposed to the weather. So we're good to go with that. Give me a couple minutes and we will start to uh, get you another list, another uh, viewing of what's going on with the installation. Hole started there for uh, my four x four. Okay, so we got everything in over there. Um, as far as my first row, what I did was I took some 4x4. Four four. Um, I actually had to buy some of this lumber, which sucks. But uh, I got a hunk of 4x4, four four, which I cut at 2 feet. Um, figured uh, about 14 inches would be above the ground because there's 16 inches of uh, lumber holding in my raised bed, and I didn't really want to see the 4x4 four four sticking out. So it'd be about 2 inches under surface. Uh, the rest is just buried. I didn't put it into cement or anything. It's just sitting in the soil. Uh, no big deal, obviously. Now I'm going to have to backfill this. Here's my other one. Uh, and then on the very end where I'm going to have a seam, I actually took a hunk of six by, uh, 
sorry, uh, about a 20 inch hunk of uh, the extra 2x8. I cut that off, attached it to the 4x4, and uh, I'm using that so that I have more surface area to uh, join the seams together. Um, so that's good to go. Everything, believe it or not, is level. I don't uh, necessarily need it to be though, unless you're just looking for aesthetics, but it's going to serve no utility purpose whatsoever. As long as the soil is what's level or pitched whichever way you want it to be, uh, you're a-okay. But uh, believe it or not, we are pretty level. I just kind of got lucky on that. So uh, we're going to continue on and then I will, uh, the second course obviously is going to be extremely easy because that just goes right on top of the first. However, I am going to log cabin the corners, meaning that uh, this seam right here will overlap so a board's going to come this way flush and then I'll have it so that the, the next time uh, this board stops shy, I'm just going to log cabin the corners. Uh, this one will go slightly past and then this one would start on the inside just like this is now. Um, yeah, good to go. Okay, so here we go. More of the uh, bed. Oh, here, this is what I was talking about with the log cabining of the corners. Right there. And then this one on this side will have at the bottom over here, right here, will run flush to there. And then the top one will just run in flush to here, right here. So that's log cabining. Uh, again, I will, did bring this up uh, higher than I thought I would at first, the boards. Um, I'm going to raise the dirt up, like I said earlier, in July. So now we go over here. This was just a division, these sticks over here, so I knew that all the garlic was on this side of the bed um, and where I could start my new stuff. Um, I'm just going to put maybe a piece of 2 by in there for uh, the summer. Now what I've done, because it's still awfully cold, this is only uh, March 26th here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. Uh, so I'm not able to do much. As a matter of fact, uh, this is western exposure. This bed, this one is southern exposure. And uh, that bed actually, the dirt is still frozen pretty good. You can go in here and you can even see a bunch of frost right in there and ice so that's gonna have to wait I'll heat that up later on but for right now I just threw in these pieces of half inch uh, PVC this is a four foot wide bed it just turned out that uh, I didn't feel like doing a whole bunch of cutting so these are uh, 10 foot or 8 foot 10 foot 10 foot uh, pieces of PVC all I did was I put them two feet on center and uh, then I put one piece which is uh, just temporarily wired to the top as a top brace and I'll put plastic over top of that so I got a new raised bed and uh, either hoop house or greenhouse or poly tunnel or uh, cold frame whatever you want to call it it all works